Hello again everyone and welcome back to the Valorian Guards. Episode 36 of our Glory to the Empire campaign. Well, as those veterans of this campaign will discover, our war in Hespania ended at episode 31. The so-called war, which I'm yet to uh, discover and find out, the war to end all wars with Pergamon, Athens and the Syracuse, hasn't technically exploded into a million pieces yet. Why do I say yet? Well, this episode, the Roman Empire, which we're about to find out and see uh, just how big this thing is, is going to take this war into its own hands. Yes, it will. What does that mean? Well, Right now, I have half a dozen Imperial Roman legions on the doorstep of Asia Minor. Yes, I do. My other legions are down, hopefully piling through Syria, down the Arabian Peninsula, and they will be on the western side of Mesopotamia. And that's where they're currently stopping. That will give Athens, Pergamon, and Syracuse the realization that I'm right behind them. Hopefully, hopefully, that will mean that we get some good sized battles. Because that's one thing that I'm kind of missing out of this war. Hmm. Yeah. Good open field kick ass battles. As well as that, I think you guys, along with me, we want to see those uh, African war elephants. Hmm. Yeah. I want to battle with African war elephants in it. I don't care. I want it. But anyway, guys, enough of my rambling. We'll jump over to the game screen and uh, find out what's in store for episode. 36. So let's go. Hello, my trusted friend. The strategic overview map. Yes, it has been. Right. So, as I mentioned, my legions are all here. They're in the Greek peninsula. So, there's Asia Minor right in now and um believe it or not Pergamon has an army just there yeah so uh Pergamon definitely knows i'm in the area i'm in the neighborhood as for athens and the seleucids they're a little slow on the update yeah as we can also see guys I've absolutely smashed all the way down to Athens, which is just there, and Sparta, which is just there. I own all that area. In fact, I own all of that. Yes, I do. I own territories as far south as Ethiopia. And that's where we're going, guys. I'll get to that in a minute. As far west as Hispania, or modern-day Spain. As far north as Copenhagen, or modern-day Denmark. And as far east as the Black Sea. Just in there. Yeah. That's all mine. I am the big Roman chunky boy. Or aka the Roman Empire. I mean, come on. It wouldn't be an empire if it was a puny little speck on a map. No, it would not. So, that's where all my legions are. 
right there. Meanwhile, down to the southeast, I have two legions already in the uh, Arabia um, Magna and also in Arabia Felix. So those two provinces or lands there. So that one there and this one here. Why do I want those? Well, as I said, Mesopotamia is right there. So if I own all this in here, hopefully I can turn it into another food bowl because we're drastically low on food and um, it can basically help out the uh, north coast of Africa to feed the rest of the empire. Yeah, feeding an empire is hard work guys. It really is. It really, really is. But uh, yeah. Also in the last episode, those who have seen it, think of it, yeah, these guys. So these guys here in Ephorus, they attacked Antioch. They actually besieged me. We killed them, obviously. The rest of their armies are just there, under a captain. But the fact that they attacked, and Athens, Pergamon, and this um, Seleucids, they didn't. It was surprising. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to look out for uh, Pergamon, Athens, and Seleucid armies. Not necessarily, Valorian. No, no. These guys attack. And as we can see, I've got a general there, an army there. So those two are there. And you might be wondering, whatever happened to the uh, Knight Scourges of the Sea or the 42nd Leviathans? Well, they're fully replenished now, guys, after a failed attempt of getting um, that one there from um, Cyprus. Yeah. That's in uh, episode 34. If you want to go back and find out what happened to Cyprus, watch that episode. But anyway, so our fleets are just there. They're fully replenished again. But, as we can see, there is a navy there. Well, actually, there's an army, a transport fleet just there, which I think is on its way to that one just there. We have to uh, intercept and sink it on a one-way ticket to Davy Jones' locker. Better said than done, guys. Better said than done. Why? Because this is over here. That's a Pergamon Navy. A fully-fledged 20-unit stack Pergamon Navy. Which, I mean, come on, it's the... I've got the 20, 42nd, not 24th. 42nd Leviathans and, you know, they're a bunch of badasses. So, uh, we may get a huge naval battle as well in uh, this episode. Oh. But, uh, enough talking. Let's get the action. So, there's my two legions there. They're just outside of Antioch, which is just there. Antioch needs to be basically romanized yes it does yes it does because it is now basically on the immediate front line of the enemy yeah so uh we got some romanization to do i want that please and thank you going to take eight turns for that grain field to uh, be built but hopefully everything else that I've been building is uh, completed because we're currently on the right hand side sitting on six supplies right now and that was almost 60 now it's dropped like a rock straight down the six so uh, yeah anyway Right, what else are we actually going to do? We are going to, you can't technically move, you can't move either. Hmm, it's not fair. 
Uh, what about my ones down here? Huge whopping empire, guys. Ooh, hello. What are you doing there? What are you doing? Yeah. Okay, I've got to keep my eye on you. Okay. Um, and the Thunderbolts of Zeus, the Syracuse, they're on the move too. Well, if you guys take that, get beaten, I can waltz in and go, Hello boys, I'm here. I'm taking your sediment. Yeah, you caught that one. Okay. Well, by the looks of it, I can't really do anything down in this area, so we'll go to the Greek states. Okay, what do we got in here? Hopefully we can lose someone. Yes, we can. 24th Caesar's own. Who the... Oh, you're those guys. Okay, well at least my, um... My client states and my allies are finally here. That's good. That's good. Just hope that they don't take territories I want. It would be very unfortunate for them. Anyway. Um... I'm gonna go there. Now that you are fully happy with me. Yes, Pella's happy. Gotta get some romanization into this area. That's for sure, because it's all um, under Hellenic culture currently. That can't be allowed. But we gotta, we gotta uh, Romanize the world. Basically what Rome was out to do in the first place. In history, that is. Right, so... We hunger for battle. Yeah, so you guys need to basically go there. Advance. 99th Romeo says nice, and then I hit this one with that 24 season zone. It says we're gonna cream them. Okay. Well, you just stay there. We'll get back to that in a minute. But what I want to do is get this one, which is the 117th Emperor's own. Commanded by the Emperor of the Roman Empire himself. You may be wondering why. Why is that? Because he has Praetorian Guards and only Praetorian Guards in his army. Along with Velites, but you know, they're like elite guard Velites. At least that's what I'm going to uh, call them anyway. So he's going over here here to um, basically get another six units of um, Praetorian Guards. Why is he getting six Praetorian Guards? Because he's the one who fought, where is it? This one. He's the one who went and crushed Hela. And in the process he lost six Praetorian Divisions. Yeah. He almost got taken out by a, um, a um, catapult bolt, or scorpion bolt. Yeah, they actually targeted the Emperor, and almost killed him too. Yeah. So that's also in episode 34, so, uh, yeah. A little bit of homework for you guys to uh, go, and, go and do. Right. You're not going over there, sons of Rome. Where you're going is right there. You're gonna go there. Just in case if this one, if you're very smart of the AI, stick it in a walled settlement. That's their army, right there. Not a fully fledged army yet. We've only got 17 out of 20. But given that it's in a walled settlement, it might as well be. So we've got to keep an eye on that in uh, Nicomedia. So, uh, Ugamon knows I'm in the area. Right, so that's all there, that's all there. Go and do this one. To victory! Well spoken, sir. Yes, hopefully it is a victory and you don't get swapped. 
but I highly doubt that given over on the left hand side you are a six star general who is an absolute badass so, uh, let's go no no they won't escape right as well as that as well as that I can literally initiate a night battle which would be very cool to see but um, I don't know if it will um, I don't know if it will be uh, quite entertaining for you guys not being able to see what I'm doing well you never know if you don't try do you so uh, I'm gonna initiate a night battle of this settlement Give Pergamon a uh, a nightmare they will not soon forget. Start battle. And could I have auto resolved this battle? Yeah. But it was I going to? No. Not when it's a war settlement. Big giant siege. First battle of this new episode, so uh yeah. Ah, oh, and it's in the rain. <laughs> Why must it be in the rain? Because all your streams are in the rain, Valoria. You should know that. Yes, sadly I do. Ooh! Oh, they got little torches! At least the guy with the wolf does. Ooh! And as you can see, guys, I've not done many uh, night battles in... Uh, Room 2, Total War. It's always been in the daytime. I actually like this. Oh, I do I like this. Hmm, I wonder if the Greeks are still awake. They don't know. But actually, how? If they are awake, they're going to be rudely awoken from... Oh, hang on, wait a minute. There's the ones I want. Going to be rudely awakened. The Romans are here. The Romans are here. Yes, yes, we are. <laughs> yes, Rome is here. And uh, you'll have to have a talk to your uh, watchman, who's, uh, you know, they didn't technically stay on watch. Mm. General. I think the downside of doing this in the night time is um, these are armies. Apologies for that. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, reinforcements. Um, neither armies get uh, reinforcements. So um. It's basically the armies that you bring in. I think. Could be totally wrong on that, but I think. Right, um... Listeners, have I actually got you in a group? Yes, I did. Yeah. Close your shot, because we want to see big, giant, flaming balls of death. Yeah, we do. It's night time. So, uh what we want and you're going to target hopefully that gate helps burn it down and then I can march inside possibly anyway let's go oh we definitely want that dead we definitely want that that dead that scorpion right there, we want it dead, and we want it dead now. Because that's the thing that was shooting us in the Battle of Power. Ooh, nice try. Yeah, you. You, look at them all. Trying to protect that scorpion. Yeah, you're gonna die now. Oh, nice. 
Fire him again. And I do apologize about the uh, metal being in the dark, guys, but uh, hopefully it's okay. Seems to be on uh, my end. Oh, we just got absolutely KO'd and disappeared. Yeah, I, uh, pretty sure my, um, this legion got the report from the Emperor in the 117th. The enemy are not playing nice. Is that? Do they have siege weapons? Well, is that? They almost tried to kill me. Well, that can't be allowed, can it? Yeah, I got you on up the place if you want. Yeah, okay. Must be the um vulnerable rounds that I wanted, but I can't get them given that it's in the rain. I think it's the game telling me, Lorian, you're having too much fun, so every single time you do a battle, it's gonna be in the rain. Possible. But as we all know, Valorian guards love fighting in the dirt, the snow, the mist, and the mud. Oh yeah. Right boys, get up on those walls. Let's move it. Welcome to hell, Pokemon. Welcome to hell. What I should be doing is telling you guys to stop firing. Otherwise you'll, you'll uh, fire on my own men. Right, get those slingers. You guys smack into those, um... Spear, warrior, whatever you want to call them. Give them a wake up call. You guys. Ooh, militia hoplites. Yep. Yep. Get them. This legion here is, um. Getting those slingers over there. My boys, another six lots. Of uh, Legionnaires are just about to funnel up this war and crush them. Right, boys, right divisions up on those walls. The left, wait until that door, gate, whatever it is, is open. Vites, move up. You guys go there. Right. You get those slingers and open up the damn door. Right. Come over there, get those slingers with those guys. You guys get those spearmen. You come up that ladder to support. See, I don't have to tell my men what to do. They already know what to do. They already know. They're like, we got this boss. We got this. We know what we're doing. Now, well, given the size of the Empire, I would expect you to definitely know what you're doing. I think I said in a previous episode that was only three major wars out of this whole campaign. I was actually incorrect. You're never incorrect, Valorian. Well, this time I was, yes. I missed one. I actually missed the war that... that, um... could have ended. Well, not technically ended, but, um, made it a lot harder for the Romans. 
and that was the one that we fought down in Africa against the Kif. So the first one was my conquest of Gaul, or, or Gaul and um, Romania. So that was the first one against the um, Alverni. And then we finished that. Then I had to basically get all my legions down to Africa because of the Kush, the Kish, fight them. And in between that we had civil wars and rebels and all that. The third one, well, six episodes to take over Espana. And now we got this one. The one against the uh, 3v1. Pergamon, Athens and the Seracruz. So, uh, Brave Romans to a man. Hack them down. Open this damn gate. Put my legions inside. So, um, yeah, it's been actually four wars in this, uh, this whole campaign. Yes, yeah, slingers. I hate slingers. And little mosquitoes. Brave to a man. Yeah, get in there. Get that cavalry. Come on. Take over command of that uh, gate. Yeah, overall, this whole campaign is, um, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, come on, it's, it's episode 36. If it wasn't fun, I wouldn't do it. But it has been a lot of fun. And the AI has not made it any easier. They, uh, been a couple hairy very scary moments. You guys over there. Reinforcements, move yourselves. Elites, I want you up on that wall right there. Give our uh, give our boys some uh, covering fire. Yes, I know I've captured the gate, Mr. Advisor. Tell me something I don't know. Get through those gates, please. Come on, get through the gate. There we go. Yep, Rome is here. Mm hmm. The enemy are inside, boys, so uh, let's you go. Yep, come on, Bob. Slacker. Come on, get up there. Move those legs. Move, move, move. Radio. Now the Romans are inside. Many troops awaiting orders. Get over there and whack those um citizen cavalry. Elites, how you doing? You're forming ranks up on that wall. Very good, very good. You guys are still cleaning off the top of that ridge, that wall. Come over there and get that gate house, which my cavalry can then do that way. Alright. Hello, Pokemon. You saw it with a peaceful night. Yes, yes, it was. For a short period of time. 
And what's that? You heard ballista fire and you saw... What the hell was that? Oh, that was just me. Sorry. Sorry. I'll, I'll be more quiet next time. <laughs> yes. The things that go bump in the night is the Roman legions. <laughs> Especially if they're on campaign, if they got a job to do. Other than that, it's, it's nothing. Right boys, come on, get that gatehouse. And you can all come down here, let my cavalry in. And we'll uh, take over the city. Good. You guys, go there. Three. You go there. Right, wiped all that out. Well done, boys. Well done. Yeah, we're gonna go and find their general. First of all, I'm gonna go here. I believe that there is the victory point. Hmm. No more baths. Why would they stick the victory point in the bathroom? I don't know. You would think they would stick it over there. In that farther area. Where that temple or senate building is. You would think they would put it over, over there. But they didn't. They didn't. They stuck it in the bathroom. Okay. I mean, if I was the architect of this uh, this city, that's where I would I would uh, stick it in a fortress. Ready for orders. Come on, boys, over there. Cavalry, you're gonna go over there. Yes, you are. And if anybody asks what you're actually doing on a horse in the middle of the night, don't answer them. Just, just tell them that you're on patrol. You're on patrol and um, don't ask questions. Right, that's their general right there. That's their general. Ooh, those, uh, those pikes look nasty, especially against, uh, cavalry. So I'm not sticking my cavalry into there. No. Yeah. In the ranks. A bit of no, I'm not. Okay, gotta wait for my legion. Where are they? There they are. Hey, my boys. Can I go there, please? Yep. Alright. Here come the rest of my boys. Boys, let's go. Bob, Frank, Larry, Tom, Sam, Jack, Hugo as well. Jeffrey, get up there. Come on. Move yourself. What's that, Dave? Oh, you said that you marched all over Greece already and you, you, you're tired. Well, I don't particularly care. Move those legs, Dave. You gotta go back in, uh, back to the training grounds. When you signed up, you basically said, I forfeit all rights to have an opinion. You joined the Roman army, so uh, you do what you're told. Uh, uh, uh. Right. What is this shamble? Get in the line. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's the middle of the night, sir. We're tired. We want to go to bed. Yeah, okay. Attack. Right. Uh, Mr. General, I hope you know what's just over there. You do? Hmm, okay. You know what's over there. That's why you're in a pipe war, aren't you? Yep. Okay, boys. Ooh, throw your peelers at him. Well, that didn't really work. But, you know. Get him, boys. Get him. Ooh, this, this centurion. You're going to be promoted, sir. You're going to be promoted. Yeah, slice and dice. Slice and dice. Get yeah, skewer him, skewer him, yes, that's how you do it. That's technically how the um the Centurion did it in history. They led from the front. And um not many Centurion officers survived. But they were led leading from the front. They led the legions forward. Very hard and badasses and veterans, that's for sure, but not many of them actually survived. And if they did, they they earned it. They definitely earned it. Yeah, this guy's still there. He's still there. He's, whoa! That guy just threw the other guy over. Oh, there he goes again. Oh, wow. That was pretty cool. I like that. I like that. I'll be doing that more often. When I can, that is. Right, so we lost 472. We basically wiped out the garrison. Yeah. And that was our first night battle. You don't mind that. Wouldn't be doing it all the time, no. But, um... Uh, that was fun. Right, we want the pop part, oh, please. Thank you very much. Which now means that this one can cross over and um, join the uh, 19th Sons of Rome and the 7th Wolves of the North and basically start making their way into. Asia Minor. Right, I seriously gotta do some building, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay, well, you can be dismantled. told. On an auxiliary barracks right here, that's for sure. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, can't build anything in there. Okay, that one needs to be changed to that eventually. Okay, right, in turn, please. Ooh, no, I can't. Why not? Because somebody wants an upgrade and it's in the 501st. Yikes, 501st, you got a butt kicking. Oh, that's right, you were my um, frontline legion that took over those guys there. The Wanderers. Mm. Yep, okay. That makes sense. Mm, around and what do we got here well, obviously it's going to be uh, logistics hunting and plus four percent replenishment yep yep considering the state of your army you need it right now we'll in turn find out what the enemy has in store
All right, so the Knights, Scourges of the Sea, have just pulled up into uh, Cyros. Ooh, you got navies. And these guys are the ones that Syracuse are basically up against. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello, Pergamon. Hello, Pergamon. It's about time you woke up from your nightmare. You're going to take out the seven walls of the north. What do they actually have? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. That's a uh, just a bit of an ouch horse, but uh, I mean, if Pokemon has gone and sent two armies against me, the wings of Pegasus and. Ravishing by Mias? I think that's what they're called. Yeah. So all up they got, got 5,200 versus my 2,500. So it's a two, two to one ratio. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right. So again, this is in the rain. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. How are we going to do this? Giant yes, commanders. Anyone who breaks formation will be punished. You punish my men and I'll find out you're going to be dead meat. Siege artillery awaiting orders. All right. We await your command. Yeah, like that. Okay. Now my Torians. Don't break formation. No, you won't break formation. You're Praetorian guards, so you know. You're gonna go there. And then my delete phase. In the wrong button, guys. Ready for duty. You're gonna go there. Wait. You know, you're gonna. Um, no. No. Okay. You guys come with me. So I'm gonna be splitting you guys up. You guys go there. You guys go there. That's better. Alright, so what if I got me left? General, you're gonna go there. Ev, you're going to go... You're gonna go there. Yeah. You're gonna protect the... Uh, protect the rear flanks. Um, You two, they can get down there. So this is why I don't really like fighting in villages, guys. You can't put your men where you want them. You know, there. 
Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I know what I'm doing. Okay, there. Which means I gotta pull these guys back just a little. Okay. And now you. Hmm, actually, you guys go there. You go there. I'm trying to um, technically block the access point. So there's an access point alleyway there. You can see that there's one there. There's one there. And why? Why am I kind of blocking the access points? Because the enemy have hoplites. And if I can block them, I can lead my guys down around and um, find a way Push them. Right, so that leaves me with four four in reserve okay you guys just go there Right. Just hope that this works. I haven't shot myself in the foot. Right. Well, one way to find out. Let's go. The eyes of the Senate and all Rome are upon us today. We must make them proud that we are their defenders. More than that, our Roman gods are watching. Make sure they are not ashamed. Alright, where are they? They are over there. Okay. And I can't technically move you anymore, can I? Nope. Alright, um... You guys are going to go there. Okay. You guys are going there. Mm-hmm. going to be a frontal attack, isn't it? Yeah. In a way. Yep. Yeah, any of them. Alright. You guys over there. As you come over here. Because you're more useful over there than you are there. Jupiter, you guys. There. Wrong ones, those ones. We taste, you go there. Javelins in their uh, their cavalry. All right. Yeah, I don't think you want to be the mercenary or skirmishers. They're Praetorian guards. They just shot you to hell. Enemy general dead. Good. One morale hit. Alright. Come on, boys. Look at that. Yeah. Sweep around. Allow their army to come into the city. Then we'll sandwich them Roman style. That's the main general right there. Sorak Sorman. 
What are you guys like? You're the Greek version to a Roman legionnaire. That's what you're like. <laughs> Careful, man. Okay. Yeah, you're the Greek version to a legionnaire. I don't think I like you. I don't like you, no. I don't. Right, Torians. Over there. Legionnaires, come in behind them. You guys, get those Persian archers right over there. I love the fact that my ballistas can basically shoot straight over the top. They're miles off target, but... What are you even shooting at back there? Let us shoot there. Right. One of you guys, come over there. You guys, get those pikemen right there. Get into there. You guys, get over there. Get those um, mercenary eastern javelin. Press the attack, especially on this side here. Praetorian guards. Praetorian guards, get in there. Right. Every. All pikes. Yeah. You, you know what I'm doing, don't you, Pergamon? Yes, you do. Right, cavalry over here. Help these Praetorian guards with this lot, and then we can sweep around. Crush these guys in now. Hopefully, that's the plan. Now, get into that. What are you guys doing? Yeah, you're, uh, you're getting them. You're definitely getting them. Right. Okay. Now, take it, you guys are uh, the ammo. Damn. You guys get them. Yeah, this is where it gets a little boring. Cause, um, Brave Romans to a man. Proud Romans all. Missiles ready and waiting. It's another. No, it's not. Okay. Um, get them. Uh oh. Uh oh. All back. This is where they uh, basically outrank me. He may have found the kink in the Roman legion. You guys, over there. Every, um, every general.
you need to go there. Kill that uh, visionary general. Yes, yes, Mr. Advisor. I know, I know, I know. Basically fighting two armies, or two and a bit armies. But at least we know that Pergamon are here. We do know. You're not afraid of uh, giving me a little bit of grief. An entire unit has perished. Almost something I don't know. The advisor never really has uh, good use to uh, the general is under attack. Yes, I'm well aware of that. these guys are advancing. We may have lost this legion. We may have lost the seventh. And if we have, we will definitely be uh, reinstalling it. Pretty sure we'll lost this guys. We've lost it. Yeah. Those um those pike up lights. They're nasty. They are very, very nasty. just piling down through now. Oh no. As soon as they got those um, up lights and shield spearmen um, into position, they could technically hit me before I could hit them, which is the downfall of the Roman Legion. They have gladius swords, which slice and dice, we know that. But, um, apologies guys, but Pergamon, Athens, and I think Syracuse have, um, up lights, or pikemen, so they can basically stab me before I stab them, if they're at a longer range. Hmm. I think we just found the kink in the Roman armour. No matter. We did did basically kick half their force, so that's something. Yeah, we sent half their forces back to hell. Yeah, we what? Yeah. Oh no. The seven wolves of the north. Taken out by Pergamon. Oh, I uh I do Give Pokemon credit. They just wiped out one of my legions. Mm-hmm. Alright. We will reinstall that over in Rome again. Syracuse, what are you doing taking a holiday down in Alexandria? Don't you see that we have a war? Oh, well, technically I have a war, but yeah. Yep. This true hero of Rome had died valiantly while 
fighting for the people on a him. Yeah. Why do I get the um the gladiator the end of gladiator when I read that? He has fought for the people on a him. Hmm. Right, son comes a daughter. Uh, son. Daughter comes of age for Lorian. Read it right. Sorry, guys. That's why there's no face cam on today because uh, I feel like hell. But anyway. Food shortage 25. Oh, great. We got a food shortage, boys and girls and ladies and all the rest of it. Right, uh, Greek states, over here. Right, um... I want that one. Yeah, that's technically why. Because I don't have the infrastructure to, um... Keep my words at all. I want that. Okay. Alright, so where am I? Oh, they're down here. Okay. So you technically need to go there. You go there. You go there. Advance. Your next command. command. Alright. I really do need to go and get some um, arms up and running, don't I, guys? Need to do that. Pronto. Um. Before I do that, um, yeah, I've got one coming in. Yeah, okay, so I don't technically need that one there. That one can go. Alright, um, what else have I got? What was that in there? We use in there. What's Athens doing? Oh, Athens can build me these. Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Technically don't need that yet because you're happy with me. Very happy with me. Um, get these guys up over here. You've got everything that you can build. Yeah, you want everything that you can build. Yeah, it's basically all this new territory down here. Let's go down this way. What do you guys can build me? Nothing. Oh, hang on. No, you build that one. You build me that. Hmm. I actually want that one dismantled. I want more food than I do anything else. What about you down here? You can get me that. You can get me that. Oh, hello, Syracuse. You're besieging that one. Okay, what if I didn't want you to? You're just gonna do it anyway. Hmm. I really don't like you doing that. No, no, we're gonna go up this way. Yeah, we're gonna go up over this way and, um,. To keep this, I keep this lesion just here. 
Yeah. You don't mind if I just keep it there? Right, so... Yeah, what were they doing with that? Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. I remember now. You're gonna go up there. You're gonna go there. Yeah, we're gonna try and take, um, Cypress again with the ninth and the 42nd. Alright, um... Ready for orders. Good jump on Harris. At your command. You technically need to fall back down. Ready for orders. Why can't you go... Do you really need to attack that and then fall back? Right. Well, get into there now. Thank you. Ready for battle. You get into there. Yep, although that. Because, uh, basically we've seen the battle already. Okay, absolutely level this. Yeah, level it. Absolutely level it. Because we're now gone from 25 to minus 32. Need more little villages. What we need is more... Um, yeah, we need more, um, more Azure culture. Dismantle all of that and then we'll rebuild it as we need to. Yeah, it's this one that I need next. That one right there. Where are my legions? There's one there. Forty fifth Falcons. Hmm. None will escape. Sounds like I just um rebranded a um Golden Commodore. No, actually a Ford Falcon. Or Falcons, actually. And if nobody knows what I'm talking about, it's a car brand in Australia. 40, 45th Ford Falcons. <laughs> yeah. Whatever happened to the Holdens? They're, they're a great Australian car brand too. Yes, they are. If you don't buy a lemon, that is. Right, um... And what was I doing? Oh yes, the Emperor's Army. And also rebranding the um, 7th Wolves of the North. Right, so you are finally there. Right. Um, you no longer need to be that. You can be that. And... What else can I get up to? Not much, actually. I haven't gone down to here in a while. Can yes, you can. Build me that. You can't get me anything. You can. Give me that. You can get me that. And you can too. Thank you very much. Build me all them. Yep, I want every single scrap of food I can get. And you. Thank you. And you. Thank you. 
Yeah. Got to basically wait five to eight turns for all this to be constructed. So hopefully, during that time, all the other buildings that I've been constructing give me food. Because we're going to need it if we're going to push this attack. Yeah, so back over to the Greek states. Because it's this area just here. That's going to be the problem. Your orders. Hmm. Well, you did absolutely nothing in stopping them from, uh, from, um, advancing. Commander. Yeah, um... Take that one out. Oh, hello boys. What are you all doing there? You're stopping me. No, you didn't. No, you did not. Hold up. Push them all. Skew them all. Yep. Thank you, Athens, for your, uh, your support. What do you got? Nothing in here. If I can get that one, I can dismantle that and that. And dismantle that. Alright, and you guys are over there now. Okay. Is that a walled settlement? No, it's not. Okay. I'll take that one as well. And hopefully I can uh, get somewhere with my food crisis right now. Minus 32 is not a good place to be. Alright, in turn. You know why? Because the Estenia want to be upgraded. And again, guys, if you are watching this, this legion needs a name. So if you know of one, it's got to be, got to sound Roman. But if you know one and you think it would be a really cool addition, well, let me know. Drop it in the, um, in the chat over on, uh, on the Twitch or in the comment section of this stream over on YouTube. And um, I will add it in. Right. Um, yeah, I'm going to press the big shiny and turn button. Let's go. Athena gives wisdom, and Ares gives strength. I give you peace, if you will dare it. Why are you asking for peace, Pergamon? Did I kick you in the teeth that much? I really just kick you in the teeth. Um... Give you peace, if you will dare it. I don't want peace. This is total war for a reason. So, um, if you are offering peace, that means that I've beaten you up. Beaten you up. So, no. Are these words from a sober tongue? If so, then I must accept them, even as I despair of them. 
Oh, I'm pretty sober, man. I'm pretty sober, Pokemon. So, uh, I haven't gotten on to the, the old wine bottle yet. No, I'm pretty sober, so, uh, no peace. And I will, uh... Oh! Air case. You're gonna jump into this battle? Because my legion are basically there, aren't you? Basically. We're gonna sit back and watch. So, decline attack. I'm pretty sure Syracuse have just gone and taken that settlement. I really did not want them to do. I mean, to think about it, I should have wiped Syracuse off the map. But they were basically a very good starting uh, ally. The start of this um, campaign. Uh oh. Who died? Oh no, the 89th Moses Judgment! Oh. Um. You. You go then. That's obligation. Yep. Yes, I'm... Um, oh, Look at that! We jumped from... Oh, wow. So we were minus... 32 in food. We're now level. Okay. I... 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 I, I can do that. Hey, Vince Sunny, long time no see. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Right, well, at least my armies are, um, punishing again. Right. And now we need the construction of as many things as we possibly squeeze into here. Um, uh, yeah, that. Right, and I definitely want that there, that there, another one of you, and one of you. Very busy with work right now. 50 to 60 hours a week still. Oh! That's, uh, that's a bit of heavy workload, but at least at least you do have work, um, Van Sunny, so that is an upside. Many people in today's, um, in the community, they don't technically have work. So, um, yes, it's, it's long hours, etc. But at least you, at least you still have work and an income and all that stuff. So, um, you're on a salary, so you get paid regardless. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are many, many right now finding it very, very hard to um, just get by. So, yeah. Um, I'm just going around, guys, just checking all my provinces. What are you? Where's that? No, 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 no. You are not meant to be there. You, you, you were not meant to be there. The only place I'm allowed to build 
that, which is a Legionnaire camp, is in Rome. I have no idea why those are there. The auxiliary barracks, yeah, that could have stayed, but I don't technically need it there. This, I don't even know why that's there. I don't know. It was not meant to be there. Right. Mm, what about this down, down here? No, you can't build me anything either. Okay. Your hair got. No. Yeah. I mean, I could change that. But I don't want to. I mean, Cahago is a trading port in history, it is. So I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to wait for um, the rest of those buildings to be constructed. Now, where were they going? Oh, yeah. Over here. Did somebody else capture it a while ago? Um... Now that you say it, Van Sunny, I think the rebels held it. Frank, I think. Rebels were down in that area. So they may have uh, built it. I captured it. And I didn't, didn't switch it over. It could That could have happened. Right, so what are we doing? We're getting... Six months to you, and another. We either do giant ballista. Yeah, giant ballista. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm coming across more and more ward settlements, especially in Asia Minor and all in that area. And I need the siege engines to break down the wall. There you go. There you go, Monsieur Emperor. Meanwhile, you will reinstate the legacy, Seven's Walls of the Nars. Right. Now, I'll read that. And what do I want out of you? I want armored legionnaires. Yep, I want you guys. I want legionary cavalry. Three lots of you. I want villites. Three lots, uh, four lots of you. And siege engines. And do we give this one some um, Praetorian guards? Hmm. Yep, I think we do. I think we do. I think we do. So, uh, that is the reinstalled seventh walls of the Nars. Yeah. It takes three turns for all you guys to get done. Okay, all right, back over to Cyprus. You have to deal with this over here. Yeah. All right, you're there, you're the one. Yeah, you're my attacking force. Okay, and you're there. All right, six scourges, uh, six. The Night Scourges of the Sea, Valorian. Go there. Okay. Blockade. Because I want my amphibious landing. And I'm going to make sure I get it. Rush them. Hello, boys. I'm back. Did you miss me? I think you did. But this time, you don't have that massive Sardis. Sards? 
Sards? Sardis? Not sure. We'll just call them Sards. Um, you don't have that massive army. Actually, you do. You have the remnants. So this is round two, technically, of uh, my failed amphibious attempt taking over um, Cyprus. Alright, round two. Let's go. Round two. Battle for Cyprus. And of course it's in the damn rain again. Every single battle this episode has been in the rain. Oh, this game hates me. It really does. <laughs> Uh. Okay. Okay. Hold Roman call. Assault ships reporting. Hold formation. Yep. Look at that. Support ships ready. Mm, actually, I want you guys. Over there. Over there, and then you two, just there to protect the, um, take that uh, flank just there. And then you two also in a battle formation, there you go. So my reinforcements from way over there on the other side of the map. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, hello boys. Get him. Get him. Oh, that's their reinforcing army. <laughs> well, we'll allow them to. Um, I mean, no rush for this, guys. I am in no rush or. Yeah, there's my uh, other fleet over there. over there. Right. You guys. Come over there. Right. Let's start this um, dubious landing. Boys, here come the uh, biasons. Yeah, now we'll show you an amphibious landing. Mm -hmm. Artillery ships reporting. Understood. Right. Beachhead has been secure. Crude and ready. Brave Romans to a man. Right. Next wave of uh, men. Get off the boat. Ready and waiting. Sun's 
to the shore. Yeah, over there. You guys go there. <laughs> Come in behind them. Watch where you're going with that boat. You, in there. Right now. Go to the next one. You're just gonna sit there and wait for me to form up battle lines, you doofus! No, you're gonna shoot me with your javelins, aren't you? Yes, you are. Well, this is an absolute quagmire of uh, ships, guys. This is a mess. This is an absolute mess. At least the Leviathans are here. Open fire. Artillery ships reported. Yep. Mens offshore bombardment. and sobs don't like me being in the area they like uh, your Tennessee agreement has expired get out something along those lines that's fine because I now have six Monaga ships just about to bombard the hell out of them from offshore. You guys over there? You guys go there. You know, sandwich them. Roman style. In a wavering? Yes, I'm well aware of that. Don't stand there, Bob. Get him. What is it with you today, Bob? I just want to see my men and how good they really are, sir. They're good. They're good. They just absolutely laser tagged that cavalry. There. I mean, if we have a look at the uh, balance of power down bottom, the left hand side, it's it's a battle that I'm going to win. I said that last time, and look what happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we won't go there. Right, you guys over there. Row like your little arms are gonna fall off. Right. Orders. 
Yeah, get him again, guys. Get him again. You guys, get in there and get those uh, Eastern Slingers. Enemy General is dead. Good. Vundervan. Hornific. That's what I like to see. Another two lots of disembarking. Good. Good. Painful display. Do you know what my men have been able to accomplish, Monsieur Advisor? They have brought peace and prosperity to the Roman Empire. And you call them shameful. How dare you, sir. How dare you. Well, I know one thing about this battle. The Leviathans and the Night Scourgers of the Seas are out for revenge. Yep. They're like a little pack of sharks. Hawanes, Valorian, Hawane. Yes, and we all know that they live in the Amazon. Mm hmm Whoa guys, whoa, you just liquefied that. I've actually got a feeling that um, it's not the Seleucids I've got to be fearful of. It's Pergamon. Because I'm able to liquefy these guys. And say that Valorian, you'll meet a uh, Seleucid army and they'll kick your butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will. The fact that I've also kind of got them sandwiched, that also helps. And I'm bombarding them from offshore, so that also helps. Now guys, turn around and get them. Alright, let's get some in-depth action. Ooh, incoming! Out! Flaming ball to death. Go, guys. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Well, they're all... Oh, there goes another one. Those Onaga ships. Oh, that one missed. And these guys are like, huh, yeah, no, no. We ain't dealing with Roman flaming balls of death. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Those Onaga ships. Being offshore, just bombarding them. That was nice. Very nice. Right, victory, decisive victory. Damn right it was. Damn right it was. And of course it was. It was the uh, 42nd Leviathans. What do you expect? The little monsters of the deep. They crawled out of David Jones's locker. Yar. Right, does that mean that Cyprus is now mine? And I've wiped out the rest of them? Possible? The sea beckons. Fleet reporting. Uh, no, because one of them is still there. Well, that one over there. But they've taken over the city, so that's something. Right. You don't need that one. You can have a shrine to Neptune because you're on an island, so that's all good. And uh, mm, no, dismantle you. Okay. Your orders. You, on the other hand, you are going to go over there. Ships to port. You're going to go over and live in Antioch. Fleet there you go. Reporting. Right. What have we got? Um. 
Yeah, that one. Destroyers. Yeah. Yeah. Because I like that tactic of having all my Onager ships offshore and just bombarding that hell out of them. Or amphibious landings, that is. For naval engagements, good work too. Right, so we got to keep an eye on that. They didn't technically get wiped out. They will be. They will be. And you're replenishing. That's good. And you've also got an upgrade. Um, you're a warrior. You're a little savage. Um, military presence. Yep. And that one there. Yep. Good. Right, so Cyprus is now mine. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Um... Uh, Alright, that one, going there. 45th Falcons, you're moving up. Yeah, that's a, that's an auto as well. Skew it him. Thank you very much. Right, and we're back in the, back in the positive. We have seven in food. Yes. Um, you go there. Right, and where's this one? Ooh, it's over there. Ooh. Well, I've um, accomplished my goal, didn't I? We'll see that in a minute. Hang on, here we go. So, I've accomplished my goal of going to the western side of Mesopotamia. So, Mesopotamia is all there. So, right now, currently, that's as far as I'm going there. While I deal with all of this. So, um, the legions down in the southeast, basically there to keep the peace. So, um, that's as far as they're going currently. Got a feeling, got a massive, massive feeling they'll be at war with these guys in a minute. But then it'll be a 4v1 war. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. But, um, that's the situation right now. Ooh, you've taken over that one. Hellenic Rebels, okay. Oh, wow. So I'm just looking at all these guys, and basically all in here used to be under the Seleucids. They're not anymore. They're not anymore. Yeah, most of these are all Seleucids, because have that one there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this... Oh, Seleucid's got that. In that one. So Seleucid's are being pushed back. pokemon has got that one. Wow, so from Parthia onwards, toward the east, owned by these guys down here. These guys that have all in here, all in here. They're definitely the next target, I can tell you that, right now. Hmm. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like I got my end of the world, uh, battle war off the, uh, the Lucids, which is a good thing. So when I actually initiated this war, the fourth one, I targeted the Seleucids. Which may have been a very smart idea. They were focused over in this area. I just come in behind them and gobbled them all up. So, yeah. But right now, the main enemy out of this fourth war isn't Athens, isn't the Seleucids, it's these guys. 
It's Pergamon. Pergamon and Sards. They're the ones that are um, basically defending and um, kicking me right where it hurts. Which is, okay, that's what I want. That's what I want. I want the AI to fight back. Give me a run for my money. Hmm. So yeah. That's very interesting um, developments. That's for sure. Very, very interesting. And of course, we're still... That's one other thing. we still got to deal with all this up in here. Up in that um, top, top right hand side. To the northeast. So, yeah. We'll get to all that. We'll get to all that. Right. Now. What am I doing? Nothing, really. I'm pressing the, um, the shiny and turn button again. Find out what happens. Hello, silly kids. Okay, Pergamon, what are you doing? Generals are now all dropping dead. Hmm. Hmm. Now all my generals are all dropping dead. Yeah, you guys need to uh, kind of grow up. But this last is not old enough to be married off yet. No, no she not. She doesn't even have the gravitas yet. Okay, fine. It's fine. So eventually, when this emperor dies, it'll go to him. And since he doesn't have any kids, as we can see, and eventually go to this one or this one, which I really don't want. I wanted it to go through my my line. There's the original um, emperor, or the original Caesar, then went to this guy, which was his brother's son, so his nephew. And I wanted it to go through here, but sadly, the real tragic story is my firstborn son died at the age of one. Then I thought, well, if my daughter, which is here, has an heir, a grandson, which she currently doesn't. She's got uh, two daughters. Um, that kind of failed. Hmm. Yeah, dude. But uh, maybe, maybe my great grandson, if these two have boys to go through return back to the family line hopefully hopefully but uh, from a technical standpoint it is still in my family it just not through my immediate relatives that is yeah I don't even know if that all made sense guys I have no idea but anyway 
Right, we want farms, villas. Lots and lots of villas. And what can I do in this? I can't do nothing. I can actually... Yeah, that's going to cost me... Oh, no, it's not because we got a surplus of food. We have 31 food. 31 food, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. They're back in business. Rooms getting back the business took us to I don't even know where I was going with that guys. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have a whole surplus of food. About three turns that is. There's that one and that one. That's nineteen food. Oh actually no it's not. That gives me twelve. Why does that give me twelve? Ah, oh, because it's a higher level than that one. Well, still, that's, um... There's 21 in food, just there, between that one there, and that one there. 21 in food, that's insane! But, I'm a big, hungry empire who needs food, so give me all the food. Give me it, and give me it now. Right, I need to get, um... More legionary cohorts. Yeah, I do. So, Antioch. Yeah, you're getting one of them. Okay. Okay. Cyprus, you're going to get... Actually, um, Cyprus. You're going to get me one of them. Actually, no. No. Get mine. Send everybody to the island so they can work and slave for the Empire. Basically turn Cyprus into the, the into the Spice Mines of Castle, guys. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Star Wars. Spice Mine of Castles. Right, um... Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, you need upgrading. You're actually quite happy with me, so you got to come down to that. Ready for battle. Yeah, come down and help these two. Your next command. Yeah. Um. Give me that one. You get me. You get me that. You get that. Who's the best one for Latin culture? That one. That one. Yep. Give me that. Um, yeah, give me that one. Right. Oh, I need things up here. More villas and pit mines. Isn't thank you. Ooh, have a look at these guys over here. Hello, boys. What you doing? Hmm. And these guys over here. Look at these guys. Hmm. You're building up an army. Yeah. Okay, okay. But I was actually going to get this one over here, wasn't I? Yes, I was. And the 91st Imperium Invictus is going to do it for me. Off you go. Chop, chop. Right. They're all there. Back to room. Uh, there's my... Ready for orders. You will be fully replenished and operational in basically three turns. Well, two turns actually. You're done. Right. Mr. Emperor. Also known as the 117th. You are coming down to here. 
You're coming down the front line. Yes, you are. It will take you two turns to do it. But, um, doesn't look like um, Pokemon's moving anywhere, currently. Yeah, so kind of hit a roadblock in um, in Asia Minor, currently. But once I get um, Nicomedia, we can basically go straight down, hit the capital of uh, Pokemon, and um, and the capital of uh, the Sards. I hope that's how you say it, by the way. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. In uh, Ephraim. So we basically go straight down that that coastline just there. And um Yeah. We may even get roads. Road Island. And no, that's not New York City, that's that island there. So um got my got my work cut out still. Especially in the uh in Asia Minor. Not so much down in the in the uh, southeast anymore. Basically, all in this area here. Right. Um. And turn. Let's see what Pokemon does. Now that they've got three legion in three legions in that area. Okay, Athens, what are you doing with that fleet? Athens is definitely falling back. That's what they're doing. Really, Pokemon? Oh, you idiot! Oh, you idiot! Something definitely happened. Then the fall back like that, which has basically left the door open for the Romans to walk in and go, Hello, boys, I'm here. Oh, Pokemon, you have made a major mistake. This is the one I wanted to be Emperor of one day. Why are all my kids dying? No! Oh, both of them. He died at age 11. And this one died, basically he was born and died. Oh no! Oh, don't you, don't you die? You die than the 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 lineage, man. Oh, that that stinks right there. All my hopes of carrying on the family line rest on you. You, if you get assassinated or whatever the, whatever happens, yeah, uh, Praetorians, grab him, wrap him up in cotton wool, and don't let a single thing happen to him. Mmm, that stinks. He was 11. He was 11. And yes, okay, it was my... Brother's son's son. So my nep my nephew's son. But still, that stinks. That really, really stinks. 
It's not like you guys are going to pump out any more kids. I mean, you're 45 and you're 46. Yeah. So I'm not getting any more grandkids from you two anytime soon. Unless the miracle happens. But yeah. Carry on the family line through the males of the family. Rest on this guy. Julius Varro. Oh boy. Oh, that stinks. However, Pokemon has opened up the door for us, which is very nice of them. Very nice of them. Alright, so you. No, actually, not you. You. You're going. You're going to there. You. You're going. You're going there. Which. You will go there. Retake that. Thank you very much. And that's your base of operations now. Thank you, Pergamon, for signing your death warrant. I have no idea what that was, guys. They just basically went, nope, we're getting the hell out of here. They don't even know what that was. Yeah, so you guys just stay there. No, I can't put you in the force. No. no. Okay. Yeah, but uh, now I've got this army here ravaging throughout my lungs. Can't be allowed. You, on the other hand, get that. Rush them. Wipe them out. Thank you very much. Right. And now we have a whole surplus of food, guys. We have 84. 84 on food. Yes. Yes, we do. Uh, Temple of Vulcan, please. I mean, sediment. Yep. And we want that one. There you go. And we want... Crank bits. Right, uh, actually, yeah, that, yep, you're all right, you're good. Okay, you're gonna be that one, you don't need to be there, you need to go to that, and you go to that one there. Yep. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure we're okay on our food situation. Don't say that, Orion, because I'll take another dive again. And you'll end up in another famine. Or drought. One of them. Alright, where's the Emperor? He is munching his legs like his little legs are going to drop off. He's going to go there. So, uh, four smart Praetorians. Chop, chop. Move it, move it. We have a war. This is not a summer vacation. No, it's not, monsieur. Commander. Right, so you will be done and operational in one more turn. Alright. Yeah. Okay, that's all there, that's all there, now crossed over that small crossing just there into Asia Minor with the uh, 19th Sons of Rome. So, um, 
they're gonna whack this actually can we do it now yes we can yes we can well uh, hmm. actually I'm gonna battle this one I haven't had a battle in a while I know in a few turns so uh, that's what we're gonna do battle It's our first battle, technically within Asia Minor, so we might as well do it. The Battle of Nicomedia. And it's not raining, guys. It's not raining. Hooray! But I can't move my blisters. Ah, oh, man. Alright, well, um... Yeah, you gotta go there. Hmm. Flammable shot. Yeah, yeah, let's do some flammable rounds. Burn down our city gates and their towers. Sounds like fun. Let's go there. Jupiter gives us strength. Orions, you don't need Jupiter's strength. What are you talking about? You don't need Jupiter's strength. I saved the Empire from a massive famine. No, you don't need Jupiter's strength. You just need to obey my orders. Right, um, yeah, you guys go there. Blisters, you're there. You guys go there. Right. Uh, actually, I have these off my will. Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Start. You burn down that city gate right there in that tower. You guys, all along the top of that ridge, move it. General! General? Oh, yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. Unleash hell. Right. Again, Tostudo. But along with the Praetorian Guards. Right there. Oh yeah, go, 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 go. Yep. Hey, that's not nice. That's not nice, guys. Well, it is when you form up line. Fire it, Will. You have my permission. Yeah, those towers are not nice. Oh, Bob, Frank, Larry, no! Uh oh. Medic! We need a medic! Well, I don't think there are any medics, so... They're all on holidays. Alright, Delete, so you're just getting eaten over there. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Yeah, they've wiped out my ballistas again? Why? Because of this thing right here. Oh, you swine. 
You swine. And this one. And they got two of them. They got an Onega just there, that's why. Giant no! Yeah, fire at will, boy. Just give them hell. Unleash absolute. Absolute hell. Give them nightmares their grandkids will still be thinking of. Yep. Great Roman Pigamon Battle of Nicomedia. Alright boys, get up those letters onto that wall. Hurry the hell up. Uh, you missed. Well, you got the wall, yes, but you missed. That's it, boys. Yeah, those scorpion towers, they, they're not nice. They are not nice. Ooh, you got the wall. You missed. Yeah. That needs to die right now. That's your job, guys. Get that. Let the blisters basically beat you to it. That could, uh, that could happen. Yeah, Pokemon, you are not playing nice. Like I said, I like an enemy that fights back. Right. For the gods. Melee infantry at your command. Go there. Right. Prometheus. Prometheus. Resume position. You all know you're not out of ammo yet. Fire. Ah, uh, got it. Yeah, yes. Son of a barnacle bomb. Gotcha. <laughs> That's how you deal with Pegamon Onigas. That's how you do it, boys. <laughs> Break the lines. Yes. Stop shooting my blisters. Oh -ho. Now. See if we can uh Get a few shots on their um, gatehouse. Not that we technically need it. Alright, boys. Out of the taking to shoot all. Go, 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 go. Alright. Bear off that wall. On this gatehouse. And I can send in the. Uh, Victorian guards. Over there. Proud Romans all. all down there. Right now. May need to wrap up this episode after this battle, guys. Definitely going to finish this battle. Hey, leave my Praetorian guards alone! Bob, Frank, Larry, get up, boys! Don't need a splotch! No, sir, it's more than that. It's a big giant, uh, scorpion tail. Yeah, no. No. We got, uh, up boys who are on the task right now, trying to capture that tower. Right, flame and grill that scorpion blister thingy, whatever it is on that wall. Alright. Bigamon's actually put up a decent fight. Melee 
would say. Legionaries! Yes, I know I'm under attack. I know, I know. And I'm wavering. Mm, yeah, the late days. Actually, did you just burn it down yourselves? Possible. Let's see if this works. Yeah, boys, burn it. Burn it down. You're just throwing sticks at it. Well, you do that. You do that. I don't know if they're meant to have fire on them, but, you know, it still works. Brave Romans to a man. But that's in the uh, invention that the Romans did. Throw sticks at the wall and hopefully it burns down. I don't think it works like that, but anyway. Shame for this play. Yeah, my Velites are soaking up the fire. Poor Velites. They don't get the recognition they deserve, do they? No. No, they don't. Alright, boys. Chopper Sui Value Speedman. And you can open the gate and let my Praetorian guards inside. You guys, get down here. You're better useful on the ground. Yep. There you go, boys. Fire damage. Okay, it's on fire. The gates are on fire. So destroyed. Get inside, boys. Get inside and move it. Here come the Batorions, Batorions, Batorions. Yes, they are gonna kick your butt if you keep firing at them like you are. Yes, Torians, capture that gate, and those towers, oh, those towers, I hate those towers, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them, but that's what the uh, defense is, Valorian, you're meant to hate them, yeah, yeah. Apologize if you can hear that in the background, guys. That was a massive truck that just went past. Well, apologize if you can hear that. Romans, ready for duty. And I like a really, um, removalist truck. Right. Legionnaires, where the hell is that victory point? Way down there. Alright, let's go. Alright, Torians, since you've inside, clear off the wall. You can lock down this uh, gatehouse. Well, my other boys make themselves at home over there at that capture point in the plaza. 
even that side. Yeah, I really do not like scorpion talents. Like scorpions, that's true. That's true. They're a very close second spot behind um, my favorite animal, which is basically posted all over the Valorian Guard logo. Yeah, scorpions are a close second. But I don't like scorpion towers. I don't. No, I don't. Ready and waiting. Right. What you can do, Victorians, is pick lat. They're just one guy. It is just one guy. Oh, you go, Bob. You go. You show the boys how it's done, Bob. Oh yeah, Bob. Slice and dicey him. Slicey dicey him. Go, Bob. Go. Yeah, get him, Bob. Yeah, you too. Oh, now Bob's going for the real match. Oh, skew it in, Bob. Now go for that guy over there. Go for him. Oh, kicked him, Bob. Kicked him. That's a little uh, dirty, Bob, but, you know, you won. Oh, yes. Yes, you are uh, well and truly deserving of a promotion. See, ladies and gentlemen, that's with Bob. Bob's a badass. Bob is a badass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What was that? I just mentioned just totally forgotten that my cavalry is sitting outside watching all this happen and they're not inside. What is going on? What is going on, boy? I don't know. Have you captured that? Yes, you damn well have. Right. Down in the we have a feeder. Ooh, yes, a feeder. I like a good movie now and then. What's on? Oh, the greatest movie of all times. Ben Hur is on. Ben Hur. Yep. Okay. Okay. Can't miss that. Can't miss the premiere of Ben Hur, can we? No, 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 no. Bob's up over here. He's like, uh, I've done my job. I've done my part. Yeah, poor Bob. You look absolutely had it, Bob. Yeah. You look totally exhausted, Bob. You just wiped out uh, all those guys. Okay, you, you just rest there, Bob. You just rest. Rest now. He's like, thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome, Bob. Let me lead these uh, other four... Five, sorry. Five divisions to victory. After we capture this uh, victory point down here. Hopefully I can make it in time for the uh, premiere. Premiere of Ben Hur. Coming to a theatre near you. Right, there's their stinking general. Get him, boys! Get him! Oh, yeah. Yeah, throw your peel at that him and turn him into a porcupine. Go, boys, go! Operation Slice and Dice! Yep, get him. This is for Bob! Oh, Bob's still around, but uh, he's the only one out of 160 still left. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, boys. Get him. Get him. Yeah, my, uh, my boys aren't a little unhappy. They're not happy at all. Wow. Pokemon, my... My respects to you and your defense. Let's just see what the butcher's, butcher's bill is now.
Ooh, we lost 1,700. No, sorry, 1,370. Yeah. Hopefully we didn't lose any of that legion. I hope. Oh no, we did! No, Bob! No! We lost Bob! Bob will be remembered as a badass! An absolute badass! Well, maybe Bob's there. I don't know. I hope one of them was Bob's legion. But we lost this one as well down here. Armored legionnaires. So the sons of Rome have basically been uh, baptized in a tidal wave of blood. Yeah, they have. And they got some pretty good ranking too. Yeah, they have. Right, occupied all please. Alright. He's his own. You're gonna go there. And um take the pressure off the um off the sons of Rome for a little bit. A little bit. And you can actually now come into there. That's your new home, just there. Alright. But that's it guys! That is the episode, episode 36. So we'll go over to the strategic overview map and give you guys a bird's eye view of what's actually happened. Yeah. Yeah, so um, we've finally gotten a strong beachhead in... Um, crossing that little bit just there into Asia Minor. I mean, we were already in Asia Minor. We were pushing up from the south. We were pushing up from um, Antioch, which is just there. And we just took over Taurus, which is just there. And we took over um, Cyprus. Yes, we did. So we were already technically, in a sense, in Asia Minor. But... Um, I wanted a two-prong attack, so we had to take over this one. As well as that, they had their two armies here. So, um, yeah. But basically, Pergamon opened up the door by withdrawing their armies. They had me in a roadblock. I couldn't move until I had my legions in place, and then they suddenly just disappeared. They withdrew. Don't know where to. But they did. One of them, apparently over there, being chased by this guy here. Now, I do have the Emperor's army right there, so he could, he could also um, intercept them and wipe them out. That might happen, actually. That's a pretty smart idea, Valorian. Yeah, thanks, guys. So that might happen. That might happen in uh, the next episode. Get the Emperor to do it. Maybe. Hopefully. Yeah. But meanwhile, we got all this still in here, in Asia Minor, to um, basically gobble up and uh, stick a Imperial Roman standard on top of it. Yes, that's, uh, that's a thing. And um, I have no idea what happening with the, uh, the Seleucids. So, I mean, they got those there. The top half of um, Mesopotamia. But these guys, these guys here, basically doing what I'm doing from the, um, from the other side of the map. They're basically savaging between my forces and their forces. Sorry about that if you can hear that bird. Um... Basically sandwiching the enemy between us and my forces. So, um, yeah, yeah, this, um, this episode, 
been a lot more um, battlefield than the previous couple. And that's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, but have a look at that, guys. That is a Roman Empire. Yeah. We still got to deal with all this in here. And over here. Yes, guys, we've still got to go to Britannia. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this episode, guys. So, uh, hope everyone has enjoyed this awesome episode. Were there some surprises and everything? Yes. Was there some bitter taste of defeats? Yes. We lost the initial 7th Wolves of the North. But uh, we totally rebuilt it. We totally rebuilt it. It's in Rome currently. And will be on the battlefield in no time. Or as soon as it gets there. Hmm. Yeah. But anyway, guys. I hope everyone has enjoyed this stream. For all those who have joined me live, thank you very, very much. The uh, continued support is absolutely epic. It's amazing, guys, the support to this channel. As well as all those who will be watching this over on the YouTube channel. The support over there, guys, is also mind-blowing. It is just, yeah, I can't shout loud enough or show my appreciation to all of you guys. So um, thank you very, very much. As well as that, guys, the links to our Discord is now fully operational. So you can use it. Join me over there on the Valorian Guards where uh, this guy is. He is actually there. So you can chat with him and uh, find out more information about this other Discord channel called Complete Total War where uh, it's basically mine and uh, this guy's dream and um, task of creating a um, a Total War community where we can just all hang out and have fun. So, uh, yeah, if that's your thing, come along and check it out. It'll um, be loads of fun, loads of fun. But anyway, guys, thank you again. I'm out of here. But until then, please take care, stay safe. Remember that legends never die. Bye, guys. Yeah.